What's up, everybody? Today, on the 14th episode of MCUX, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You've asked for it time and time again. So today, Addy, Jeremy, and I are going to be ranking the 13 MCU movies from worst to best. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the 14th episode of MCUX, your number one source for MCU news, reviews, and discussion. I'm Addie Bree Hayes, and with me today is Jeremy Stewart. Hi, guys. And Doug Herring. Hey, everybody. Hi, Addie. So, how do we, do you want to start? Sure. So, I figured the way we'll do it is we will each go through our bottom three. So, 13, 12, and 11. Ugh. Then we'll do our 10 through 6. Cool. Yeah. Then 5 through 2. Great. And, and then, then we can have a long conversation about our favorite MCU movie. All right. Oh, my goodness. So, we have not seen each other's lists yet. Ugh. So, I'm going to start. My yeah, number 13 Marvel movie, uh, so my least favorite, is <laughs> Thor The Dark World. <laughs> Sorry. Save your comments till the end of class. <laughs> um, see, this is what's so great about the MCU. I like Thor The Dark World, but it's my least favorite Marvel movie. Um, the, the biggest offense of Thor The Dark World is not that it's bad, it's that it's nothing great. Um, as, as I'll get to, the other movies that are in my bottom three, they might not be the best movies, but they have at least one or two great scenes, or they have a really great villain, or they have some great characters. Thor The Dark World has Malekith, and it has Thor throwing a javelin of science through a cloud of smoke. Like, that's that the final true. fight. That is true. Like, it, the final fight, okay, the Loki <laughs> stuff is good. It explores the relationship between Thor and Loki a little bit more, which is awesome. I love Loki. But that's balanced out by Jane Foster, who I don't love. Yeah. So, anyway, that is my that is my least favorite, which, again, I still like Thor the Dark World. I've seen Thor the Dark World, like, three or four times. I'm probably going to watch it again in the next few weeks because I'm doing an MCU rewatch. Um, so Thor the Dark World's good, but my least favorite movie. All right, your 12? My number 12 is The Incredible Hulk. Mm. Um, okay. yeah. 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 This yeah. feels like the awkward stepchild of the MCU. <laughs> yep. Because Edward Norton was recast, and it, it feels like it was added to the MCU at some point during the production, which I think actually was the mm. case. Yeah. Um, and so the references to oh, Stark yeah, yeah, and to yeah. S.H.I.E.L.D. feel like they were added in in post or something. Um, so it, it, it's... It's before the Marvel Cinematic Universe felt like one cohesive universe, but what saved it from being my bottom spot is the fight in Harlem between Hulk and the Abomination yeah. is one of the coolest That's fights so in the true. MCU to this There's day. There's also that the scene where it's like the glass walkway that fills with smoke. Yeah, acid. yeah, yeah. Like, I, Ang Lee, I mean, those, so my... We're doing bottom two right now? No, bottom three. Bottom three. Okay, so bottom three. go one more and, and that's, then we'll... That's not the Ang Lee Hulk. Oh, right, right. It's the... That's the Edward Norton. Edward Norton. Uh, I mean, I'm referencing Edward Norton in that scene. Right, right. Yeah. Right. This is how I, much I, know I the don't scene you're like that about, movie. But, all right. Uh, and my number 11, so I'll finish up my bottom three, is Iron Man 2. Um, I like Iron Man 2, but it feels like it has one of the problems that we've seen a couple, a few episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. have had this problem, where it's so much set up for something yeah. that's going to be awesome, but it's not there yet. Yeah. There are a few great parts in the movie. Um, Justin Hammer. I love Sam Rockwell. He's great. Uh, but there are also a few Mickey Rourke-ish parts. Um, and so... Like inaudible Russian or whatever. Yeah, or, yeah. So or like, uh, bring me the bird thing. Exactly. Um, so not a bad movie, but certainly a disappointing follow-up to Iron Man 1, <laughs> which is much higher on my list. Yeah. So that's my bottom three. Jeremy, what's your bottom uh, three? Mine are the exact same. Same order. Dark World, Incredible Hulk, and Iron Man 2. Oh. Okay. Well, then wow. Then I guess um, that. I mean, mine answers those. Mine's a little bit different. My least favorite is Incredible Hulk. It's just, I mean, I, I rewatched Incredible Hulk, and it just, besides Ross, it just doesn't feel like in the MCU as much. Yeah. For sure. Especially like if I had rewatched it before Civil War, I'd been like, eh, what? I don't understand why this is like included. I mean, right. I understand, but it's just. And also, I also don't really like Ed Norton in it, and like Liv Tyler. I oh, think yeah. I think yeah. Edward Norton had a decent Hulk, but he yeah. doesn't he doesn't portray Bruce Banner as the genius 
Mm-hmm. Well, very well. And like, I think the my, other Ruffalo problem is now that we've seen Ruffalo do it, and right. we're like, okay, this is what Banner's supposed to be, yeah. and then you go back and you watch Norton, and you're like, okay, exactly well, there how was I feel. right. It's like it's off. like seeing Terrence Howard in Iron Man One, and being yeah. like, that's not Rhodey. And I mean, then you see Don Cheadle, and you're like, yeah, that's that's Rhodey. Which right. is, uh, if I were to say something redeeming about Iron Man Two, is like, love Don Cheadle. Like, that's that's he's a good point. Great. His like entrance in the courtroom where he's like, it's me. Shut up! Yeah, it's just yeah. like the best way to have done the recast. That but I, I mean, think. like the going back to the banner thing, that's one of the issues as well. Like I don't feel like Ruffalo would have like, I mean, obviously he wouldn't have acted the same way as Edward Norton did, but it just doesn't really even feel that much like the same person. So it just like watching right. that movie, it, it doesn't feel like the same. Yeah. Character. That's why yeah. it's the like my least favorite and then Thor 2 as well it just I at first I was like oh I like that one more than Thor because like Zachary Levi in it like his like five lines I just like love him and he was so like every line he like killed it Mm -hmm. and I love Thor and Loki teaming up but then one of you when we were making our list brought up Jane Foster and I was like oh yep and lower (laughs) it's it's... It's pretty killer but I actually instead of Iron Man 2 as my Number 11. 11. I had Iron Man 3. Really? You like yeah. Iron Man 3 less than Iron Man 2? Yeah. Uh, I remember I just like watching, I, I really, there's parts I really like about Iron Man 3, like the whole kid thing, and like That's I feel right. like... The, the, With the, Harley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, he just like, I feel like he gets to act a little bit more. That's definitely true. I think um, I That's think why it's higher than Iron Man 3 the, is the sequel where we got to see more Tony Stark. Yes, yeah. that's true, but the... The whole Mandarin stuff just kind of it. It, it kind of a lot of people have issues with that. Yeah. yeah, and like when you're talking about Sam Rockwell, and that's why Iron Man Two is higher. I loved Sam Rockwell. I loved him in Iron Man Two. But yeah, that's that's later. So that's my bottom three. All right, oh, cool. Yeah. Well, they're pr- so, pretty much yeah. the same. Pretty similar, pretty similar lists. All right. I think I think we're gonna start to. I think our top three oh and our bottom three are gonna be similar. Oh I think boy. here's where we're gonna start to make a big difference. Yeah. Do you want to start again? Or I'll do start again. Cool. All, All right. right. So my number ten. Uh, Nice segue is Iron Man 3. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I enjoyed Iron Man 3, but I agree with a lot of what you said. I didn't mind that they made the, the whole bait and switch with Trevor Slattery as the Mandarin. Mm-hmm. I hope we did get to see the real Mandarin yeah. at some point. That's what I'm worried about. I, I really hope we do. Uh, and Iron Man 3 felt like a really fun Shane Black movie. And yeah. I love That's Shane why Black. I liked it so much. I love Shane Black. Shane Black. But as an Iron Man sequel, it was a little disappointing. My number nine is Thor. Um, I love Thor. I, I was so heartbroken that I had to put this at number nine. Um, but I, it just... Kenneth Branagh brought Asgard to life in a really, really cool way. However, when you go back and watch it, it has some cheesy elements that don't quite work. That's true. I mean, there, there are just elements of it that you can tell that they haven't... And I think, going by how low th- the Dark World is, I still don't think they've quite figured out Thor. Yeah. As a solo movie, he's great in The Avengers. He's great in Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. He hasn't carried a solo movie well yet. Yeah. I'm hoping Ragnarok will change that. Well, and I think there's I think there's a reason they put Hulk in Ragnarok with him. I agree. I think um, Thor works best when he's playing, when he's off playing with, with someone else. because, yeah. and this is just a difference. But like as the character of Thor, and this isn't anything against Chris Hemsworth, but the the, the writing for the character of Thor has to be in a certain like, Asgardian manner right. that I don't yeah. think really works by himself. Right. Well, I, I see what you mean. Right, then it takes right. this more Shakespearean yes. tone. Yes, which, which is why, why I think had Branagh do with, it. Yeah. I think Kenneth Branagh is the perfect choice for Thor. And which is why I don't think Natalie Portman's the best foil for him. I agree. I think he, he works better when he's playing off of somebody else, and Natalie Portman right. is not, not that somebody, that somebody else. else. Yeah. Um, Anyways. Although, the, the one scene in Thor where he goes and drinks with Selvig... Yes. I would like to Which see a like Thor the, and Selvig uh, movie. Yeah. Buddy yeah. Cop movie. Right. And so hopefully we'll get a little bit of that I in like Ragnarok. I like Selvig. Mm-hmm, me too. Uh, my number eight is Age of Ultron. Mm. I was heartbroken mm-hmm. to put this so low on my mm-hmm. list. Um, but really, everything from here and up are, you know, my favorite movies ever. Not ever. But, I mean, in terms of superhero movies... Number seven through one are like top. I, I love all of them. So I had to put this one. I liked Age of Ultron. I think it gets way more shit than it deserves. Um, people really hate on Age of Ultron for no reason, I think. It was a disappointing follow up to the Avengers. Ultron was maybe a little bit too quippy. The stakes yeah, never yeah, quite yeah. felt as high as they should. Yeah. But 
I still really enjoyed it. I think it was a solid follow-up and just a whole lot of fun. So it's my number eight. My number seven is Captain America, the first Avenger. Mm. Uh, this was fighting for a spot in my top five. Really? Captain oh, America is yeah, one of my Me favorite too. characters. And there Ooh. are parts of that movie that, that movie. really are in my top five. However, yes, there are parts. it hits. The origin story of Steve is great. And his rescue of the 107th is great. Mm-hmm. And then he puts the Howling Commandos together, and it goes into like a montage, montage for ten yeah. minutes, yeah. which is really disappointing because I'd love to see Cap working with the Howling Commandos. Right. And yeah. instead, we see it in a montage. And the other problem. And then the finale is really disappointing. The Red Skull is a cool villain, but he's just wasted. Yeah, the... They're, they've already done a montage when they do the whole fight song, right? And you see him marching around from place to place, which is a montage that works really well. Right, for me, but right? like, but like. Don't have two long montages I with agree. a fifteen-minute scene in the middle. I agree. Um, but they yeah. still introduce the character of Captain America in a yes. great way, so I love it for that. And my number six is Ant Man. Um, again, fighting yeah. for a top five wow. spot. Didn't quite make We're it. Pretty similar. Are we? Mm-hmm. Um, Interesting. I love it. Different. Very kind of smaller stakes movie. Uh, felt different from the movies we'd seen before. Nice little palate cleanser after Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. Paul Rudd is just awesome yeah. as Scott Lang. Yeah. All right. So, Jeremy, Oof. what's your 10 through okay. 6? Okay. So, my 10 is Captain America, the first Avenger. Wow. wow. Now, <laughs> hear me out on this because I do agree. I love... I love the way they introduced Steve Rogers to the MCU. Yeah. And that's the movie where you watched it and you were like, wow, this franchise is, is has taken off well. Right. And it's going to be fine. But the the awkward CG of his face on the body, like there's some things. Oh, there's yeah. some go, points. Go there rewatch it. I you're watched like, it a couple yeah, weeks no, ago. I, can, I can't get past it. Really? There's some parts where I'm like, this is just. It's like, when some of the lighting kind of mm-hmm. makes it weird. You can see the skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying it's perfect. Just, it's it's I, not I, what I, they did with uh, Michael Douglas in Ant Man by any means. But I, I wouldn't say it's distractingly awful. I or anything. see for me. The first time I watched it, I didn't notice. When I go back for rewatches, it bugs me. Fair enough. Um, so what's your number nine? My number nine, hold on, let me wake my phone back up, is um, Avengers Age of Ultron. Again, sad I had to put it down this far on the yeah. list, but it's like, I I don't enjoy that movie a, a lot. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed part, again, I enjoyed parts of it. Yeah. There, there's some really good moments, and then Ultron starts making weird, quippy things. Yeah. And maybe it's also the disappointment I had from, like, the trailers being, like, Ultron's this super creepy villain with, like, yeah. the no string song, like, right. creepily playing in the background, and then going to see it and being like, oh, he just kind of... That being said, I think James Spader was a cool Ultron. Yes, yes, he yes, 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 I agree. Just, it's yeah. the, ri- the Very writing. much the writing let him down. Um, yeah. After Age of Ultron, so my eight is Thor. Okay. Um, I I love Asgard. I don't like Earth in that movie, if that makes sense. Sure. Like, yeah. I wish we had just spent, like, most of the movie on Asgard. Yeah, I hear great. It. Like, the visuals, I think, really are like, this is a godly planet that they've figured out, and it's awesome. And that first introduction, where it's, like, upside down, and, like, we flip, yeah, is, yeah. is so cool. And I love Heim- I Like, I love the Asgardians. And then we get back to Earth, and I'm like, okay. Like, Thor, stop being a prissy little dick. Like, <laughs> Jane right. and... The girl from Two Broke Girls need to shut up. Oh, I like her. Just um, I, I not the show, not the show. You I, like Darcy? I like Darcy. I can't stand Darcy. What? I, I love uh, Darcy. I, I like the only thing I like is is self. I like in her that. more than Jane Foster. Yeah, that's yeah. not a hard. That's really not hard qualification. I like her though. and Thor. I think they're Jane fine Foster's together. forgettable and bland. Darcy's actively <laughs> annoying. Yes. No, but I love like I love it, especially in Thor: The Dark World when she and Thor when he's have, shirtless like, just, and she's just like, oh. It's just like it's just it's such a I don't know. Whatever. I think it's, Moving on. I think it's Anyways, my seven is Iron Man three. Um, I like that movie. Actually, I really like that movie. Yeah. Um, not my favorite, but not my least favorite. I like it. Fair enough. Um, and then six is Avengers. Um. Wow. wow. That's low. Wow. 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 Yes. Wow. You'll, I mean, you'll learn from I, me. I, there are movies I enjoyed more. Purely, there are that's movies fair. I enjoyed well, more sitting in the theater and rewatching. I, I love The Avengers. I really think it's great. There's some really, really funny moments, but there are movies in the MCU that I had a better time, and that when, if I had to rewatch one of them, Avengers would be like, oh, I guess I'll rewatch Avengers. Where some fair of the enough. other movies would be like, well, my tops would be like, actively want to rewatch. Fair enough. 
Addie, what's your 10 through 6? All right, so my number 10 is actually Avengers Age of Ultron. Wow, that's love. It's, it wouldn't have been if we hadn't had Civil War. Civil War proved to me how having that many characters can be done. Mm. Yeah, that's So fair. I was like, oh, this Age of Ultron could have been way better. But there are so many parts that I love. Like, I love Mark Ruffalo and Scarlett Johansson together. I love their chemistry. Mm. And, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't think Ultron was so bad. I do, like, pointing out the trailers that he was a lot more creepier yeah. in the trailers. Right. I'm like, oh, yeah, that seems a little bit better. But, yeah, it's just, I'm fine with not seeing it again. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> Um, my number nine is Thor. I really love Thor. We all have Thor around nine. Thor. Right? I think so, yeah. your, yours was nine. So Mine it's was like, nine as well. It's understandable. Eight. I support all the same things. I love Loki. That's why it kind of goes above Age of Ultron. Yeah. The, yeah. the villain's better. Um, my number eight is Iron Man 2. I just, I really love Iron Man 2. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I rewatched it the other day and I just, I love oh, Pepper Potts. I love Happy. Yeah. I love, like Happy. Yeah. Oh, I love I Sam love Rockwell. Happy. Um, if you, but uh, see, Happy I think is better in Iron Man three than he is in Iron Man two. Yeah, that's very true. Badge. Yeah, that's exactly. Badge? It's fine, fine. <laughs> no, no. But, uh, hey. like, if you guys have your opinions. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah you have your yes. ranking. Yes. We're not going to yes. disagree with you. Um, I'm sure YouTube commenters will do that for us. Yeah, <laughs> that's, I'm going to get like, so much hate. Iron Man two is above Iron Man three. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, number seven is Captain America. Like you. Okay. I love Captain America. I love all the characters they introduce. I love Bucky. I love Peggy. I wish Peggy just kind of stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> First season of Tommy Lee Jones oh, yeah. Tommy is jo- fantastic Tommy Lee Jones. in it. Oh. He's so funny. And the Stanley Tucci. Is Stanley yeah. Tucci. That's, He's yeah. The whole they have a really, with drinks really, thing. Yeah. Really great cast. And I love the origin. And yeah, the, my one thing is the montages. Especially when he's with the Howling Commandos, it's just oh, it's so yeah. it's a cool cheesy. montage, but that's all we I, get. I don't even think it's a cool Howling montage. It's not a cool montage it's cheesy, though. The CGI is kind of rough. Yeah. Like I just I remember there was one when he's like jumping, and I'm like, oh, that's yeah. That's rough and there's thing. the one where he, they like roll under the tank and like put the thing, is, and they like run back into the forest. I'm like, it is I don't old care. though, so I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's really good for the age that it was created what 2011 it's not that old do you see avatars cg oh right not even yeah but that's where all their money was this is not a 15 year old movie (laughs) right no this is not like an early 2000s i have to forgive it's it's one of the older ones so i'm like i can forgive it a Mm. little bit it's five years old i mean also one of the older ones in the mcu okay what's (laughs) the number um, and then number six is Iron Man for me. It's wow. okay, wait, no, no, no. This was hard. Wow. This was hard. Six and five was hard, and then my two and three is hard. I just switched my two and three again. Um, I love. I it, it, like my one through six is like basically my one through five. It's just right. so hard to choose between these five. I gave it. I have like a definite one, and then two through six. I'm just like, uh, I don't know. Fair <laughs> um, enough. Yeah. It's like, I mean, that's really all I can say. It's nothing, like, there's nothing against Iron Man. I just also, seeing Iron Man with other people I love so much more than him just by himself in Iron Man. Does that make sense? Sure, yeah. Not at all, but yes. It makes sense. I don't no, agree, it but it makes I sense. I don't agree, yeah. It's, it's hard. It was hard to choose. It was mm-hmm. really hard to choose. Fair enough. All right. So, uh, here are my five through two. Uh, actually, Addy, why don't you go ahead and start, since I feel like Jeremy and I have done uh, a lot of talking, most of the talking. This is true. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, so my number five is Ant-Man. This is the one that I was having issues with, the Iron Man, switching them back and forth. I just, Ant-Man is way more rewatchable to me. I I think I saw it in theaters four times. Four times. Wow. I think I think I saw that one in the theaters the most. To, That's out like of any Marvel eighty dollars spent on Ant Man. Well, New York I think, prices. I think one of the times I snuck it. <laughs> 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 but I just there's always that I, that movie I can just watch so many mm. times. The jokes mm-hmm. don't get old. I love love that movie. It's just so good. The one thing that I don't like about it is that what not wasp yellow jacket mm. gets killed. Right. It's like oh man, man another like bad guy gets killed and I really like Corey stole stole so that was kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> Um, but God, I just, mm. that movie was so funny and so perfect to me. I agree. That I, I just, agree. That's, that's why. I mean, I only had a one spot lower than you. Yeah, so, yeah that's I, what I was I, saying. I like, ours was pretty close. And like, I mean, like I said, Iron Man is so good. It's just, mm. I, Iron Man was way more rewatchable to me. So, Oof. yeah. Uh, so then my number four is Guardians of the Galaxy. That's another one I think I saw three times in theaters. Maybe I saw it in four as well, but. Yeah. That movie is just so good. I mean, they have a talking raccoon 
and a tree in a movie, and it's great, and it's hilarious, and James Gunn is brilliant. I, I just, I love everything about that movie, except once again, the villain is kind of a little wonky thing, yeah, yeah. but it's like one thing I can just kind of overlook since it's happened a few times with Marvel now yeah. at this point, that right. I'm like, okay. It's, it's a complaint. You're like ready that. for it, yeah. yeah. But I, that movie, that movie is wonderful. I mean, Chris Pratt surprised everyone, you know, yeah. like he's coming from Parks and Rec and he's kind of like tubby a little bit. Yeah. And he's he like comes ripped. and he's like amazing Star-Lord and he's yeah. hilarious and he's sleeping with ladies and aliens or whatever. <laughs> Um, uh, the so, Jackson Pollock line. Yeah. That was improv, and, too, and apparently. The freaking yeah. mixtape. Uh, Come yeah. on. Yeah. Like, yeah. That oh, thing yeah. is amazing. Um, so, yeah. Uh, am, I, am, I, am I still going? Yeah. Three and two? Cool. Mm-hmm. So, my number three and my two are very hard. Right now, I'm with Avengers at number three. Wow. It's another great team up movie. Yeah. That one I just like a little bit more because I, I care about the characters more. I mean, mm-hmm. I love Black Widow. I love Mark Ruffalo. I love Chris Evans. I love Chris Hemsworth. I mean, like, that movie is just, there's nothing (laughs) in my eyes that's, like, that I would change about it. So that's why it's pretty high up. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And it's kind of, like, it's explainable why it's so high up as well. Sure, yeah. Um, But then, of course, number two is Captain America Winter Soldier, which is very close at the same time. (laughs) Yes. But I think I like that one a little bit more because we get more focus. We get we have Falcon. Yeah. yeah. We have more focus on Cap and Black Widow, which are like two of my favorite characters. Mm-hmm. So I mean, up here at this point, it's just kind of like my. At own this point, you're splitting hairs between yeah, great yeah, yeah, movies. For sure. Yeah. I think that's true with all of our top threes. And, like, and for sure. And we really, soldier. all of our top fives. Yeah, yeah. It's just hard. And maybe even six. Like I mean, like yeah. I was saying, I yeah, feel yeah. like all of our top sixes are like the really great ones. I agree. Yeah. Um, and then also, I love. I just I love Sebastian Stan. I yes. love him. Yeah, he's yes. great. And I, I love him agree. as Winter Soldier, and I, I just, I, yeah, that's, that's, I just, I love Sebastian Stan. <laughs> okay, so before we get to your number one, Jeremy, yes. what's your five through two? Uh, so Ant Man is five. Um, I can, I can rewatch that movie all day. Michael Pena. And Michael Payne and T.I., like, that's all I need oh, in the great. movie. Yeah. Oh, my great. five and four are the same. Guardians is at four for me. Yeah. Um, here's where we get a little different. My three is Captain America Civil War. Okay. Um, that is surprising. This also is because it is so recent. Like, all yeah. of these other movies, I have had a chance to, like, rewatch, not just in the theater, but, like, Absolutely. on downtime and like and really be like okay and compare them to all of these other ones right right and again these top three are so they're, they're so close, close right. that like it's hard but for me civil war even with the introduction of spidey and black panther and like every <laughs> yep and like everything goes at number three mm. um and my number two is iron man and this might be because when I saw it, like, I think it was in, like, seventh grade oh, yeah. when I saw it. It's, it's much, it's very much of a, of a nostalgia, who I saw it with, when I saw it. Yeah. This is the start of the right. MCU. I've also, I have rewatched that movie more times than I can count. I, like, I bought it off iTunes as soon as it came out and just, like, sat there at, like, late nights when I was doing homework in high school with it playing in the background. And I'd be right. like, ooh, favorite part's coming. And, like, switch over. Yeah. I, like, I, I... There are problems with this movie. Yes. Yeah. Is it Marvel's best? No. And is Clark it? Clark Gregg is in it. An argument Clark can Gregg, be made. Yes. Yeah. Clark Gregg is in it. I like like yes. We talked about Terrence Howard as Rhodey is like a little strain. Yeah. Uh, but his <laughs> the origin of, of and going from that like big iron giant suit to the super sleek suit yeah. and like Jeff Bridges like whatever that final fight like kind of falls apart a little bit for me at the end but like when he flies all the way up and gets like ice and you were like. <gasps> And the introduction of, like, the robots. and the, I could go on about that movie forever. Right. I love that movie. Yeah. So it's my two. Fair enough. Okay. Um, so my five uh, is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Okay. Um, I... Yeah. Wait, your five? What's your... Oh, wait. We already did six. We already right? did six. My, <laughs> my, my six was Ant-Man. Um, my five is Guardians Ooh. of the Galaxy. In terms of pure fun, yeah. I don't think there's a movie on this list that can beat Guardians. Mm-hmm. Um, but like yeah. you guys have said... Plot wise, villain wise, yeah. there are parts where it's not the strongest movie, but who cares? Who cares? The characters yeah. are so great. The story's so fun, Drax. and Drax is all. There's there's no part of that movie where I was watching and I'm like, okay, this scene could move a little faster. Or, yeah, no. I was. So, I loved that movie so much. I I like you, Eddie. I think I saw it three or four times in theaters. Yeah. Um, 
So in terms of the most fun Marvel movie, that's number one. Uh, yeah. yeah, that and Ant, Ant- Man for me is that right and Ant Man are, are the top two for, um, in yeah. terms of but, most yeah, I fun. Completely agree. But in terms of my favorite movies, the ones that I'm gonna watch over and over, right. it's it's my number five. Mm-hmm. Uh, number four is Iron Man one. Like you, Jeremy, I remember seeing it dozens of times. Literally, I've I seen that, that movie, movie so many times. more times than I can count. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my little brother, who hates superhero movies, um, he got that for his birthday when it came out on DVD. Wow. And he watched it literally every night before he went to sleep yep. for like Aww. three months. That's so cute. I know. Um, and so... I, through, like, just hanging out with him, That's I would awesome. hear him quote Iron Man back to me all the time. Oh God, so, awesome. for a, for nostalgia reasons, right. I, I like Iron Man as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so And it, it doesn't get enough credit for starting yes, this universe. Yes, I, I agree. Um, We've also talked about that before. We have talked about that, and I think John Favreau did such a phenomenal job. Uh, yes. And, and I, I saw an interview with him a little while ago talking about how Basically, in order to secure the funding for the movie, they basically had to put the rights for their characters up to co- uh, up as collateral. Right. So if Iron Man had not worked, oh, the MCU would, would not, not exist. Geez. They would not have had the money or the rights to fund it. Right. So the Falling fact through. that this movie worked as well as yeah. it did is, I mean, the fact that it's the first definitely gives it some bonus points. But yeah, I, yeah, I love Iron Man 1. Uh, so my number three is the Avengers. Oh, twins! Yeah, I, I look. I love the Avengers. It's the Avengers. It took yeah. an impossible, silly-sounding concept. Yeah, that if that's very true. If you'd pitched it in two thousand, you would have been laughed out of a room. We're gonna make a movie with Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. Like three no-name and heroes Hulk. that, but Hulk people cared about. Yeah. Yeah, I guess because, that's true. I guess Hulk yeah, yeah, had yeah. the TV show right, Hulk. Right, right, right. Captain America. Right. Nobody gave a shit about <laughs> Captain America. Nobody happened. gave a shit about Thor. <laughs> Nobody gave a shit about Iron Man. Yeah. They took these mm. three B or C level heroes and, and and turned it into one of the greatest team up movies ever. Yeah. Um, so I love it. I will say, first twenty minutes maybe a little slow, um, which is why it does not quite make number two. Which for me, like you, Addy, I think our top three are exactly our, the same. Our top three is the exact same. Uh, the Winter Soldier, Captain America: The Winter Soldier is my number two. Uh, it just—it's such a tight movie. Mm. It's put together so well, and the fighting, <laughs> the choreography is amazing. Um, and yeah, it's it's great. Uh, yeah, I, I think Jeremy, you're going to talk about that a little bit yes, more. In a yes, minute. I will. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, but yeah, the Civil War. It's. Or, uh, Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. <laughs> it's it's phenomenal. Yeah. All right. So, so with <laughs> that being said, our number one movies. Addy, do you want to go first? Because we have the same one. Sure. We'll just we'll we can kind of talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Good. You go. Um. Obviously, mine is Civil War. Yes. It might change since I've only seen it like now twice in theaters mm-hmm. and not like at home. But I I just highly doubt it. Mm. I just I love this movie and it has my favorite superhero ever in it with all of my favorite superheroes fighting okay, against Okay, there are a lot other. of superheroes in that movie. Your favorite one oh, ever Spider-Man, is Spider-Man. 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 Sorry, right. I, in my head I saw him. Right. <laughs> has my favorite superhero Spider-Man <laughs> finally in the MCU. And then like all of these other superheroes who I've grown to love over the past few years fighting mm-hmm. against each other so then there's emotions yeah we have the introduction of black panther the fighting choreography russo brothers did a great job in winter soldier even better in civil even, war for sure like i feel like not so much i don't want to say like so much better but i think like it's crazy how well, well they handled i this. think i think it was more varied in civil war yeah because yes. every character and we talked about this in both our non-spoiler and our spoiler review mm-hmm. Every character had a different fighting style. Yeah. Yes, and especially I, Black Widow, which is and Black Widow such good and Black movie. Panther. I agree. Spider Man was amazing. Tom mm. Holland knocked it out of the park. This this was the follow up to the Avengers that we could that have Age had of Ultron should have been. What I think yeah. you said earlier about how seeing Civil War made Age of Ultron slide yep. down your list. Right. It right, absolutely right. did. I see what you're saying. It it works so many characters into it. It works it so well. We talked in our spoiler review. Some of the Zemo stuff is maybe a little convoluted. But he's uh, coming back. But he's coming back, hopefully. So, I mean, it seems like he's going to come back yeah, for yeah. some more vengeance. So, and then, like, I really like him. So, I'm like, okay, good. Right. He is off on the side. He's going to hopefully come back later. Great. And it's also a great Captain America movie. 
It, that, that's it true. Is that's true. It is such a good Captain America movie. And, like, the feelings that I get between him and Tony is just amazing. I think it is the best... Apart. I think it's the best acting that he's ever done, as yes. well as Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, not best acting ever for Robert Downey Jr., but, yeah. but in... It's his best say, performance as Tony Stark. I would say that way... There were some bits in Iron Man 3. Say what you want about Iron Man 3 as a whole. There were some bits where he was going through some stuff, and you're oh, like, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wow. No more, but from but start to finish... One, really, oh, yes, yes, yes. You really whole, feel yeah. his, his a feeling yes. that he's just this broken man. Yeah. Really coming to terms with the consequences of his actions. Yeah. You feel for both sides... The fight at the end. I know we've talked so much about the airport fight, but the fight at the end between Cap, Winter Soldier, and Iron Man is hands down my favorite fight in the MCU, more so than the airport fight. Yeah. Because the stakes are so high. That is the one time in the movie where you really do believe these people might kill Kill each each other. other. Yeah. So, speaking of great Captain America movies, Jeremy, what's your number one? So, my (laughs) top is Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um... I, I, and like what what you said about it being tight, it's such yeah, it's so true. It's such, that movie is such a rush. It is such a it's such a a a, a ride as like yeah. sitting in the theater and watching it. Um, and there's just there's so much, and I I personally I like the fighting. I like the hand to hand better in Winter Soldier than I do in in Civil War because Civil War. Clearly, there's some green screen stuff, and you, mm-hmm. I mean, you, there has to be between right. Vision's beam and Scarlet Witch's stuff, and a lot of that. And the nice, the thing I loved about Civil War is it's almost all practical. Right. All that, or that it feels practical. That yes. last fight between Winter Soldier and Captain America when they're on the helicarrier, yeah. are you kidding me? That it's fight is fight. incredible. It's a fight, yeah. I love that. I love the fact that that we. That Fury gets, like, blown to bits. Spoilers for <laughs> no. if you haven't seen any and, of these and movies. And how much it affects the yeah, TV shows, as, too. I well, kind of really that part, as well. I, I'm looking at these from just the movie. I know, but like that's also, list. like, a big... Um, I and I, I love the fact that you see... I love the relationship between Black Widow and Captain America. I, yeah. When they go into, like, the Apple store or whatever it is, oh and the, with the hat. It's, like, I love... I love it all. There's still a few exceptions, which I have with every single movie on this right. list. None of but, these movies are perfect. Yeah. But I think for me, that one, I think Winter Soldier is the closest that I, it is my favorite. All right. That's. Yeah. So yeah. I think Civil War is my absolute favorite. I don't think it'll ever move. My well, two ho- hopefully, I mean, hopefully it'll now. move when Infinity War comes Or out. Doctor oh, I mean, Strange I mean, like, or right any now. of these other movies. Yeah. And then we don't right know. now until another movie is added, guys. Fair enough. <laughs> We'll talk in November. Because uh, yeah. Doctor Strange, if you saw that trailer on the big screen, yeah, which we cool. didn't see in our in our first screening, but when I resaw Civil Same. War, Same, they yeah. had it on a big screen. Looks so. Much. I'm actually kind of disappointed they released it online before. I would have loved to have first time mm-hmm. seeing that. Just boom, yeah, it looks for sure. incredible yeah. in a, in a big format. All right, so to recap and wrap things up, let's go through our list one more time. Start to finish, I Great. will start. Go for it. So, number 13, Thor The Dark World. Number 12, The Incredible Hulk. Number 11, Iron Man 2. Number 10, Iron Man 3. Number 9, Thor. Number 8, Avengers Age of Ultron. Number 7, Captain America The First Avenger. 6, Ant-Man. 5, Guardians of the Galaxy. 4, Iron Man 1. Three, The Avengers. Two, Captain America: Winter Soldier, and one, Captain America: Civil War. Jeremy, um, thirteen, Thor two, Dark World. Uh, then Incredible Hulk. Then Iron Man two. Number ten is Captain America: The First Avenger. Nine is Avengers: Age of Ultron. Eight is Thor one. Seven is Iron Man three. Six is The Avengers. Five is Ant Man. Four is Guardians. Three is Civil War. Two is Iron Man, and one is Winter Soldier. Great, so my number 13 is The Incredible Hulk, 12, Thor The Dark World, number 11, Iron Man, number 10, Avengers Age of Ultron, number 9, Thor, number 8, Iron Man 2, number 7 is Captain America, the first Avenger, number 6 is, oh, oh, I messed up, Iron Man 3 is my number 11. I was going to say, I don't don't think Iron Man was I know, that's why I was like very confused for a moment, I actually deleted the 3. Should I restart it or just keep going? going. (laughs) Number six is Iron Man. Sorry, guys. Uh, Number five is Ant-Man. Number four, Guardians of the Galaxy. Number three, The Avengers. Number two, Captain America Winter Soldier. And the number one, Captain America Civil War. 
All yeah. right. Great. So, yeah. folks, there you have it. You've Ugh. been asking for our rankings. Now you have them. Our Woo. number 13 through number one. Let us know what you think. What are your rankings? Yeah. Uh, if you've seen Civil War, is it your number one like Addy and I? Is it your number three, three like Jeremy? Is it your number two? Could be your number two. Could be your number 13 it's all for subjective. all we know. <laughs> That's a good point, Jeremy. It is. Um, it is all subjective. So let us know what you thought of our list, who you agree with, who's your, who your list is closest to, mm-hmm. and put your list in the comments. And uh, I think that's going to do it for us. Uh, yeah. Addy, if people want to follow you on social media, where should they go? Ah, If you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you can follow me at Addy Bree. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I'm Jeremy double underscore Stewart. And of course, make sure you're following the MCU Exchange at the MCU Exchange on Twitter or just at MCU Exchange on mm-hmm. Facebook. And check out MCUExchange.com for everything related to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Until next time, guys, I'm Doug Heron. Bye. I'm Addy. I'm Jeremy. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Bye, guys.